Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you're down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today's topic is all about the Python and Julia list comprehension. Look how you are going to do the list comprehension in Python and Julia both. So first I'll showcase that in Python and at the after that I'll just show that in Julia. So for that I have created the list comprehension over here. So you can see that I have given i like for i for i in range 0 to 11. So how range is going to work? Range is going to create the numbers between the 1 to 10 like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to till 10. It is going to create those numbers and just put those numbers inside of the list. So this is the list format. I just put the full for loop inside of the list and just given the i over here. So if I just uh, if I like to write this particular function, how I'm going to write it? If I not do it in list comprehension, okay, uh, yeah. So if I want to write it, you can just see for i in range 0 to 11 if i print those numbers print those numbers it is going to print that those numbers basically so it is going to be 0 1 2 3 4 5 so on till 10 okay so it is going to work so i just put the whole thing inside of a list okay so that is the list and it is the list comprehension for this particular example okay so if i just uh, run this cell and showcase you uh, yeah okay so if i just run this cell you can see that see I just save the whole thing inside of a list so that is called the list comprehension okay so this is just a normal for loop and also you can apply the if statement if else statement inside of a list comprehension if you want to add more functionality to the list comprehension so <clears throat> you can see that so over here i just use the same thing but at the end i just use the if i greater than five so what does this particular for loop do is that if i is greater than 5 only then it is going to save those in the list comprehension otherwise it is just going to uh, like uh, not going to add those things okay so if i just run this cell you can see that like 6 7 8 9 10 if it is greater than 5 only then this is going to work other than that if it is less than 5 it is not going to save those numbers like those numbers 0 to uh, like uh, 5 okay so those numbers are not there and if you want to add the else statement also you can also do that but the format is little different over here you can see that like if i if and else you have to give at the beginning okay so if i greater than 5 else 10 for i in range this so what does it mean if i is greater than 5 only then it is i like 6 7 8 9 10 otherwise it is going to 10 okay the below numbers like the 0 to 5 is going to be 10 and everything else is going to be the numbers which is come from the range function okay so if i just run this cell you can see that like the first number which is lower than the uh, six or lower than the six and zero to five basically so it is going to be zero ten 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 and the remaining ones are six seven eight nine ten so this is the higher numbers in the range function so in this way you can do the uh, list comprehension in python and the same thing you can also do in the julia so it's a julia notebook over here so if i just run this cell it's going to do the same thing just see the formatting is same exactly same for i in range 0 to 11 step equals to 1 so you have just need to uh, like give the step over there in the range in julia otherwise it is not going to work so that's the only difference and it is going to work the same way the logic is same so you can also do in this way the length so first i showcase the output then i tell you what it does it mean so step over here the step was basically the steps between 0 to 11 like 
step is one I have given so 0 to 1 then 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 then 3 to 4 so these are the different different steps I have given over here but if I give the length then it is what does it do it is going to just uh, divide the whole thing like 0 to 10 by 10 and uh, increment by that so 0 to 11 uh, like 11 by 10 is going to be like 1.1 something so just see approximately in that way it is going to increase so it is going to give you the uh, you're going to give the length like how many numbers you want it is going to decide the step automatically and it is going to give you those numbers in range so that's the another thing in range in uh, julia okay so that's what i have given over here so just run this cell and it is going to showcase those numbers inside of a list okay and also you can use the if function in julia also julia list comprehension the same thing i have given over here if i just uh, tweak a little bit i have just put it i less than 5 instead of i greater than 5 so you can see that uh, less than 5 numbers are given over here for this particular statement but else you are not able to do in julia so that's the difference between the python and julia in terms of the list comprehension I hope you like the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make. I'll see you soon. Thank you.